Good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. It's Sunday evening, I am exhausted and this evening we are talking, looking after yourself and not doing too much like I just did. Um, as you know, I work Monday to Friday and Saturday this week, Patrick came through to go and get wood from my work because we've got one of the big spinny saw things that I'm not using cause way too accident prone to use that. Um, what was my cat doing? Raven says, hello. Why is it you always make people look like I'm strangling you? Honestly, you just go see that better. Raven, be normal. Say hello to everybody. Okay, down you go. Um, so yesterday we were at the warehouse and we filled one of the big ton rubble bags full of wood and brought it here and Patrick put it in the wood pile and we had some stuff. I brought other stuff inside. So that was a busy morning come going into afternoon. Then I went through to Perth and we got the Aldi Too Good To Go bag. Now it came online. I picked that up the back of seven um, to pick up at half nine, between half nine and 10 at night. It's the first time I've managed to do that. So I was like, oh yes. So as you saw last night, we got that. And this morning I had one of those days and because I was in Perth, which is about half an hour away from where I live. And I thought, I'm just going to go and hit the shops. So I went to, we went to Asda first, as you saw. I also stopped off at Lidl's and I got some stuff there. Um, not for me, for family. Um, I got some of the reduced stuff. I also stopped at Food Warehouse because sometimes they have their meat reduced on a Sunday morning but they didn't have much. However, I went round and looked at the tea bags and I got another bag of the 900 Thai food tea bags, which was nine pound for 900 tea bags. Now the Tetley was 400 tea bags for eight pound. So I got the Thai food because that just had to be done. So poor Patrick was up with me. We were in Asda by the back of seven. Um, so then I came home and I put up a photograph of the mince that I had taken out of the freezer. So I browned off the mince and I have 10 jars of mince canned up in the pressure canner. Um, I'll put a video up about that um, probably tomorrow once I pull all the bits together. Um, but what I forgot about pressure canning is even once all the stuff's in the jars and ready, it's still about two hours because it's 90 minutes pressure canning. You've got to wait till it gets up to pressure, let the steam come out, let it cool down. So that was about two hours. Um, so did that. Um, oh, excuse me. I'm exhausted. This is ridiculous. Um, so did the pressure canning, went and had a hot bath and a nap because... What can I say? I was exhausted. Then got the pressure can stuff out and then Patrick and I had, to, oh well no, then I got a too good to go bag from the spa, the local spa. So I went up and got that at half six. Then we had dinner, I sat and finished my cup of tea and looked at the clock and it's like eight o'clock at night. And like, where has my day gone? Where's my weekend gone? So I haven't particularly had that restful a weekend and I am feeling it now. So I think I need to be careful with timing and intentions and trying to do so much in the short space of time I have when I'm not working. I think there's only so much you can do at a weekend. Um, I know that the shopping that I do on a Sunday morning, that's because I'm in Perth, as I say. Half an hour drive. I'm not doing that after work. I stay at Patrick's on a Saturday night most times. So I do my shopping first thing on a Sunday morning before I come back to let the cat out. Or unless Kathleen's here, which she is quite a lot. Um, 
but even then I'm still I'm up early so I'll go and get the shopping done but yeah we I think we need to try and make sure we're not over extending ourselves trying to get prepped um because this is just I'm exhausted it's just ridiculous so the good thing is however I have canned 10 500 ml jars of mince or ground beef as you say in the states um, I have also started mung beans to see if I can get bean sprouts so I'm on day two so I'm taking little videos so I'll put them up once I see how my mung beans come on um I've got stuff in the freezer I've got stuff that's canned I've got plenty of stuff for lunch because this bar too good to go bag it had like salad and cold meat and coleslaw and stuff so that's my lunch is sorted for the next couple of days um so yeah pretty busy sunday so i just thought i'd let you know and go don't be stupid like me don't try and do too much because all it does is leave you exhausted at eight o'clock on a sunday night when i'm working tomorrow i mean i'm too exhausted to even have a smug about what i've done i know i should be having a smug i should be jumping up and down going oh my goodness look at all the stuff i've done i'm way too tired for that so I'm going to go through and upload this and hopefully Patrick who's here will, will take sympathy on me and make tea for us both Patrick. Yay! <laughs> In case you didn't hear that there was a little yay with it. Oops too early. So yeah I'm going to go. I hope you have a good weekend or I hope you've had a good weekend and you have a restful Sunday evening and I will catch you later. Yay! <laughs>